make you look like that? Really you look like, oh lord, here she goes. <laughs> another vlog we are mm, about five minutes away from the gym i'm trying to make sure that i come back from the summertime with you know just some added identity replenishing the identity that i had before because lord jesus christ it took a lot out of me contrary to popular belief i did not feel elite that being said i'm getting back all the things that med school took from me including my weight my mental health <laughs> I don't know, just mental clarity. I feel very foggy after the past semester, even though it was not not nearly as foggy as I felt after Christmas, but foggy enough, right? To the point where I know I need to add and pour into myself. Granted, I still do have a lot of other things med school related still going on right now. I just don't wish to talk about them currently because I'm trying to take a break from being super type A, as if I could do such thing. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. We're headed to the gym. We're doing his more brutal leg routine. I'm trying to build my legs. I'm trying to gain some more weight. I lost a lot. I ain't even gonna say I lost a lot. I really lost like five pounds, but I feel like it's very noticeable in my face and I don't like that for me. I like a nice little chunky face. I always had high cheekbones, but now I just feel like my face is naturally the sunken in filter that you get on TikTok or Instagram has like the really good, you know, just and my face has all, always naturally been like that. It just had like a little bit more more fat. And I feel like I lost the fat first from my face. Which is, anyway. So we're going to eat more this summer and do a lot more leg days, okay? So, yeah. I hope he doesn't kick my butt too badly today. But I have a feeling he, he probably is. And I'm probably going to, you know, get mad at him at some point in the next two hours. Friday, you know, Friday, and basically, girl, you know how much I sacrificed my life over the last year. And so now we're gonna be heading out. You guys will get like a full look of the outfit in a sec once the whole look is together. But yeah, we're about to head out. So I need to touch up my makeup and, you know, get to looking gorgeous. So, first and foremost, I knew that was gonna happen. My freaking deodorant. <sighs> we'll do that towards the end. Okay, let me pull this down because I definitely want the shirt to give off shoulder. Anyway, I feel like I want to sit down so we can sit down and talk how we want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we are getting ready to go to Shanklin Hall. It's in an area called Adams Morgan, which for the most part, Adams Morgan is very chill, at least to my current knowledge and perspective it seems to be like a very chill area that being said the outfit is giving very much chill just chilling tonight so we already have like a little flawless base or whatever i'm gonna give you guys the deets but before i give you guys the deets i want to make sure that this is actually a face flawless base that will last i'm currently trialing this look because i'm gonna lie okay being in med school i just forgot how to do makeup like i forgot the things that made me me for a sec i did i felt like i lost a little bit of myself it didn't give so anyway i'm on a quest to figure out my new skincare routine my new no makeup makeup look and i think it looks really really good but again this is after a full day i've been wearing this all day it does look a little bit oily well i don't even say it looks oily it looks glossy like a natural dew if you will but before I say this is what I'm doing, I just want to make sure that this is what we're doing. We just need to touch up our makeup really quick and, you know, give. <laughs> so I'm going to try using this mic because I feel like the fan is going to throw off the sound in here. 
So we're gonna try that real quick. And if it works out, then it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, so the crazy thing is most of my makeup is not in my bathroom anymore, which I feel a way about. Ever since moving from my last apartment, I haven't had the time to transfer all of the systems and things that were at my last apartment. And I am still trying to figure out how to do that, especially with this face being a little bit smaller. It's not that much smaller, but it definitely is smaller. And I didn't think that I had a lot, but apparently I had enough to make this feel clustered. So one of the things that I am going to be doing this summer is organizing my makeup. Honestly, everything. I need new containers, new dressers. Like for instance, the closet that I had, I had, you guys remember that little setup I did in one of the videos? I think it was like for Vlogmas or something, I don't know. But I definitely had a lot of dressers, even within my walk-in closet. So I had a dresser outside of my closet, but then I also had a, a few other dressers, like three dressers in my actual closet, right? And that helped me keep things organized. Girl, anyway, I don't got none of that now. None of that. I don't got no space for none of that. So I gotta figure it all out. But I guess this is what comes with living in an area that is a little bit more fast paced. Um, child, I'm gonna just be talking to y'all nonstop. I need to get on my face before Buki get mad at me. So, because I, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Sometimes I do be taking a long time. If you know me, you know I'm not the best with makeup, getting ready, time management. It just, it's not my strong suit. I, I'm strong in other areas, but this is not one. All you wanna do is gas me How we end up in a backseat Just trying to get to the bag Be on the same page, you're the same way Only keep the fam around me So let me know what it's gonna be I don't plan on getting no sleep Why we doing my thing Moving too fast Candy paint with the windows all black seats Turn blue late, what they gonna say With the top down screaming honey anything We up till six in the morning When the sunrise will be on it Boy, I got five, you all so loud really quick what I am packing to go to the gym because after the gym we're gonna go somewhere and honestly this brush is disgusting it's nasty and I would prefer just to have like a nice little sponge or something but I lost the sponge that came with this but if you were like someone who likes a dewy look but maybe just not too much I do like carrying like a powder with me so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my gym bag and then I'm gonna use this brush to apply after the workout if I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the bag and then we're gonna go. We are just now leaving the gym and it was a really, really quick workout, 45 minutes. We worked out um, our legs or whatever. And I wanna just go ahead and tell y'all, I don't think I recovered from the last leg day. The audacity of him to make me do supersets the entire way through. I was in there wanting to cry. It was, I didn't cry though. So I'm a thug. We did Bulgarians and RDLs, y'all. I supersetting both of them took me out. I squatted 155. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, that makes me feel better. Even though I didn't go as low as I feel like I could have, it did let me know that I can really do this. If I really want to like put my mind, energy, spirit into it, I could really have a badonka -don. If you do wear your makeup to the gym, I know you're gonna feel tempted. You're gonna feel tempted to dab your makeup when you're actively sweating, but I don't really do that. I just like to let the face do what it, what it does, and then if you apply the powder prior to, it will dry down the way that you put it on, if that makes sense. I've never really been a makeup at the gym girl until recently, to be honest. That's only because if I have makeup at the start of my day and gym is in the middle of my day, I'm not going to take my makeup off 
to go to the gym. Like, I'm not going to do that. I, no, I, I don't think so. Mm -mm, no. Now, I will probably take it off after the gym, but I'm not going to, like, take it off. It, it just it, it just it's not gonna work out okay we're going to this place called metro bar i've been craving oysters real bad but it's not just like any type of oyster i want char broiled oysters so he's taking me to this spot that he's actually tried before because i've been fiending fiending for some oysters y'all i'm not even gonna lie you know how you get the the human hair when you get you know boho braids right because you don't want it to get like knotty or whatever the case may be i'm here to tell you that human hair 10 out of 10 is going to razzle dazzle frazzle okay and at this point i am so tired of finger detangling this stuff with my leave-in conditioner and water that we might just have to let the boho ho at this point and um yeah Okay, thank you. <laughs> that is this. That honey beef. That's the one with the the beef bacon? This is the original. These smell good. Y'all. I see a freaking rainbow and it goes all the way over. Like, do you, oh my God, oh my God. I've never seen like a real rainbow. Like, you know what I mean? You see like a streak, but you never see like one with a start and an end. Like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. <sighs>